Hey gang, welcome back to the big board. So, speaking of big boards, here is the Battle of the Bulge 1985 uh, edition. And you may wonder why I am going to even bother doing a shrink work with this for you. Uh, it's because it's kind of a, a now, as of today, a special game. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, who uh, he and I go to, I guess, uh, it's, kind of, it's a thing called the Settlement Home garage sale and it's done in a big convention center and has a lot of books where I buy a lot of my books uh, secondhand and I always kind of swing by the kids game section and check out games and see what's going on there and uh, one year I was out of town and he was there and he picked this up for you know five or ten bucks or whatever whatever it was and uh, he had it the only reason he bought it was because he was uh, his grandfather I found out uh, served in the 30th Infantry Division in World War II and was a member of the 120th Regiment, which saw a fair amount of action uh, post-Normandy, in, and in particular in Mortain. And in fact, I think the entire division, Old Hickory, was given a presidential unit citation just this year for that action. Uh, and they were also at the Battle of the Bulge, and in fact, that unit, you know, the unit that he was in is in here. And this friend of mine didn't really know very much about, because uh, his grandpa didn't talk about it, obviously enough. That's kind of the the old breed and that's how, how they did things. You, and in fact, I'm sure that's still the case today that most of the time uh, uh, post-action uh, conversations are pretty rare unless it's with uh, fellow veterans and things of that nature. So as a young boy, he never heard anything. And then when he was older, his grandpa had passed away. So uh, I did some research and found out that his uh, grandfather was actually in an AT company. And uh, so then I you know, gathered up some links and showed him how to get the jacket for his grandfather's service records. And his grandfather was a uh, uh, friendly fire wounded uh, in an aerial bombardment which kind of makes me think it might have been not at the Battle of Bulge, which is where they thought he was injured, but probably more tame potentially, right? Uh, they were in a building and it got shelled by or bombed by uh, US aircraft. And uh, so he got Purple Hearts, got a Bronze Star. Uh, I, think, I think there were 3,000 Bronze Stars issued to the uh, members of the 30th Infantry Division in 200 and some days of uh, combat uh, or in, in theater uh, during World War II. Anyway, so he gave me this game and uh, he said, hey, look, you know, you'll, you'll use it and play it and all the rest of it and appreciate it way more than me. And so here we are. So I thought we'd have a look at it. Now, it's it's uh, unpunched and the only uh, problem it has, it's got a split, a split corner here, right? And uh, I think there's a split corner on this side here. So, you know, someone's pulled the lid off uh, uh, not very nicely, uh, but the box is in beautiful uh, condition and it's a striking cover with pattern on the front there and uh, German uh, German tank on the front as well. So it's got a little catalog in it. It has a pristine copy of the General, volume 19, number two from 1982. Well, now that's interesting. This can't be the 1985 edition. If this is the nine, maybe uh, we'll check in a sec. Oh, we'll look on the back of the box. Uh, but 1982 edition of the General, which is in just lovely shape and has uh, some other uh, order of battle bits and pieces in here uh, for maybe a, a, an additional scenario and uh, further details on the Battle of the Bulge. So that's very, very cool. Uh, counters. Uh, you know, looking real nice. And uh, I'll show you, there's the, uh, where is it? It's here somewhere. 30th, 120. So I showed him that and then I showed him, uh, you know, where they were stationed in the bulge and stuff like that. Yeah, it, was, it was really cool. And then there's the setup charts and the rules and you know, it's 22, 25 pages of rules and the order of appearance and CRT. And uh, and of course, this is Bruno's design, right? That was originally done in 65, I think. And uh, we now have the new, new version of this, uh, sort of the Bitterwoods 
extended edition, advanced deluxe mega edition called Time for Trumpets that's coming out. So that'll be wonderful to get my hands on and lay this out beside it and have a look at the two. Uh, I, I have uh, an earlier version of uh, of this game, the Battle of the Bulge. Let me just see what year that is. This is uh, punched and in horrible shape, uh, but I think this is an, a, a much earlier. Yeah, it's all there. Okay, this is a later edition. This is 1991. This all new 1991 edition. There you go. <laughs> they kept, they kept, they kept making these as long as people would buy them. I think. Uh, this one is 81, not 80, 85. So my bad. Yeah, there it is, 81. So the, hence that makes sense for the magazine. Uh, so I just thought I'd share that with you because uh, look at this box. It's in beautiful shape and it even has a die in it. <laughs> and these counters are in great shape. They're, uh, you know, basically untouched. Eesh, look at the white backs. Anyway, so there you go. Very cool stuff. Uh, I thought I'd share that with you to have a look at it and uh, tell you that little story so it'll have a nice little special place in my collection won't be one that uh, i punch probably i'll try and repair these corners on the box and uh you know i think this is probably uh, the, the, if the box was perfect i would say it's probably worth 50 bucks now maybe or 40 bucks in in pristine condition um but Nice find and uh, a thoughtful uh, share from a friend who's not a war gamer, uh, who is interested in history. And uh, maybe one day we'll get him to sit down and, and try and play this with me at some point in the future. Who knows what will happen. All right. So uh, there you have it. We'll talk to you soon. All the best.